I've created a card in Craft Artist that I can actually use for many different occasions such as birthday, sympathy, get well wishes, retirement, etc. If I'm not 100% sure what I want to use this for, or maybe I've just kind of at a loss for words, I can go over to the top of the page and click on Insert Sentiment. Now you have tons of sentiments that you can use, and you've got many different categories of things that you can use. I'm just going to go down this list using the scroll bar, and I'm going to click on the word sorry. I'm actually going to click on the first sentiment called I'm sorry, and when I click on it to select it, you'll see that the insert button is now activated. So I'm going to click on that once, and if you notice wherever I move on this page, there's a little plus sign and there's a box beside it. That's where the sentiment is, so you can now decide where you want to place it. Once you're happy with the placement, you're going to left click on your mouse and there is your sentiment. Now you can leave it as is and you've got a really nice I'm sorry card, or if you maybe want to change it around a little bit, you can click on it to select it. And then I'm going to go over to my fonts and just going to adjust the font a bit. So to do that, I can just click here once with my left mouse button until it's highlighted. Then using either the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard or the wheel on your mouse, you can scroll through some of the different fonts on your computer. Once you find one that you like to use, you can just select it and click off of it. And now you can print this. I'm actually just going to select this again and I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. And now I'm going to turn this into a birthday card. So to do that, I'm going to go back to insert sentiment. And this time I'm going to go over to birthdays and I'll click on the little plus sign to expand it. Or you can just double click on the file folder. I'm going to go to general and I'm going to go to the first one here that I see called happy birthday and I'll select Select it. Now if you wanted to, you could use the scroll bar and you can use any of the different expressions that are in here. But I'm going to select the first one and I'll click on insert. And I actually want it to go right over here, so I'll just move this up. I'm happy with the way that it looks. And so now I want to open up my card, so I'll just go to my next page. And on the inside of my card, I want there to be some kind of a quote. So to do this, I'm going to go back to insert sentiments. I'm going to go down this list until I get to quotes. I can double click on it to open them up and since I'm creating a birthday card I want to go over to the word age and I'll double click on it. I like the very first saying it says age is an issue of mind over matter. If you don't mind it doesn't matter and it's written by Mark Twain. So I'll click on this to select it and I'll click on insert and I want this to go down to the bottom over here. But you can see it's a little bit big so all I'm going to do is just drag this handle in a little bit so that that it fits more onto my page and I can move this right over here. Now over here I can write whatever I want to say so we've got a nice little quote. I'm just going to go right back to the very first page and this time let's say I wanted to change this around. Let's say I want this to say something completely different. So I'm going to go over to edit and right at the beginning of here I'm going to start typing something. Enjoy your retirement and I'll just delete the rest over here by pressing the delete key on my keyboard and I'll make three dots. Now I'm just going to click on back and then I'm going to go over here while it's still selected, click once to highlight my font and then just using the wheel on my mouse I'm just going to go down this list until I find something I like. Once happy with it I can click off of it and now I've got a card that's ready to use. If I want to actually use the enjoy your retirement once more I can easily click on this to select it and I'm going to add it as a sentiment. To do this, you're going to have to decide which category you'd like to add it to. I'm actually going to click on Occasions, and I actually want to create my own category. So to do this, you're just going to type the name of your category, My Sentiment, and then you click on Manage and Create Category. So your category is now called My Sentiment. So if I go down this list, you can see I've got it right over here. If I open this up, you can see there's absolutely nothing inside. So now all you need to do is name the word that you want to use. So I'm going to call this one Retirement. And then all I need to do is click on Add and then Add New. If I click off of my card and then go to Insert Sentiment, go right to the bottom of this so that I can see my sentiments, double click on it, I've got one here called retirement. Click on it and there is the sentence that I've created. Now you can create many different sentiments, but let's just say you decide you no longer want to keep one of them. I'm just going to click on cancel and I'm going to click on this again and I'll go back to add a sentiment and this time I'm actually going to remove that. So I'll go down my list till I get to my file folder called my sentiment. I'll click on it and then I'm going to click on the word retirement. And all I want to do is go to manage and then delete. 
It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to delete the collection retirement? The answer is yes. Now if I go down this list again, you can see that my category is now empty. There is nothing inside of that. If you wanted to delete your entire category, you'd have to start deleting the things that are inside of it. Since this is now empty, I can go over to Manage and I can click on Delete. It says, are you sure you want to delete the category My Sentiment? The answer is yes. And now I no longer have that category. You can have a lot of fun creating your own sentiments, adding things to your sentiments, changing them around, and playing with the fonts. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.